If you haven't heard of Nike by now, you're probably living under a rock. Nike is probably, actually, there's no probably, it's definitely one of the most recognizable sports brands, not only in the country, but in the world. And in totality, brands known throughout the entire world. Nike has taken this world by storm the past 30 years when it was founded. Phil Knight, especially, the pioneer of Nike who went to Oregon, the reason why they have the best uniforms in college sports is because he, well, funds all their stuff. Dude is a billionaire, made his own clothing brand, and was super successful with it. Now, guys, we're actually going to be going over some secrets you may not know about Phil Knight. So get ready. Put your seatbelts on. This is going to be a great video. Cannot wait to get into it. What's going on, guys? JT here with the Business Hub coming at you with another video. Make sure before the video loads up to leave a huge thumbs up on it. Also, let us know in the comment section down below if you did enjoy today's video. And also, let us know if you guys did subscribe by commenting down below saying you subscribe. That way, you can be entered in this month's subscriber giveaway where we shout out one lucky viewer who subscribes, comments down below saying they subscribe, and turns our post bell notification on. Phil Knight's a mysterious man, guys. Now, let's get into the 10 secrets you did not know about Phil Knight. Our first secret is use your 20s to learn and explore. Everyone thinks once they graduate college, they really need to get a job. They need to know what they need to do for the future. This couldn't be further from the truth. After graduating from college and grad school and spending a year in the Navy, 24-year-old Phil Knight decided he wanted to make a trip around the world. He asked his parents for money, it was the early 60s at the time, and travel was still exotic and expensive and he boarded a plane to Miami, also to Hawaii as well. In the months that followed, Knight continued his world travel and visited Japan, Hong Kong, Vietnam, Philippines, India, Kenya, Egypt, Turkey, Germany, France, England, and a handful of other countries. Many of the historical, cultural, and economic lessons he learned on his travels, he would remember and apply for life. Now, I'm not saying, guys, once you graduate school, go travel the world. He used it simply as inspiration. So if you have that inspiration, make sure to apply it to your life. You want to make sure you get out there and explore. You don't have to have your whole life plan written down in your early 20s. You want to make sure if you're ready, you can go on and get out there. But if you're not ready, use that time to really figure out yourself. Use that time to think. Use that time to learn and explore. Mainly what Phil Knights is saying, he wants you to learn and explore. It doesn't matter even if you're in your 50s, if you still don't know what you want to do. Although it's not ideal and it's probably a little too late, you're still going to be fine. You're going to understand what you want to do and eventually make a life plan out of it for the rest of your future. Next, we have believe in what you do. Knight's first job in Hawaii was to sell encyclopedias. His second one was to sell securities. He was terrible at that first job and mediocre at his second. It occurred to him that as an introvert, perhaps he was just not cut out to be a salesman. But when he went on to sell shoes, much to his own surprise, he turned out to be a master salesman almost from day one. Why? Because it is time he believed in what he did. When Knight was in college at the University of Oregon, he had been a track athlete in the college team. He ran because he was good at it, he liked it, and he wanted to win. It made him a credible shoe salesman down the road. This was a product he believed in, and it was a sport he believed in as well. He started off Nike mainly as a shoe company, running shoes especially. It eventually, you know, became the Nike powerhouse that it is today where you have basketball shoes, baseball shoes, football shoes, whatever shoe you can think of for any sport, Nike has it. It's crazy to think that this dude, honestly, his first two jobs wasn't very good at it. And to be completely honest with you guys, he was above mediocre, I'd say. He wasn't even that good. Well, he believed in what he did from day one. Even though he wasn't very good at the jobs, like the one where he sold encyclopedias and to sell securities, he still believed in himself. And that's what led him to the success where he's at today. Upcoming, we have Just Do It. Ah yes, Just Do It, their infamous slogan. Everyone knows worldwide. When traveling around the world, Phil Knight had a crazy idea. It was actually beyond crazy. And to feel like he had it at that early age was insane. He actually had an idea of setting up an American distribution for a Japanese apparel company. In his mid-twenties, with no cash, no company, and no successes as a salesman, Knight nevertheless boarded a train from Tokyo to Kobe and arranged a meeting with executives from Odosuku, the Japanese company known for its tiger shoes. When he asked whether he represented a company or not, he said yes, even though the, in fact he knew he didn't have a company. A few years later, he again made his partner believe that he had an East Coast office, when in fact he did not. 
and he also pledged to buy a number of shoes he could not afford to pre-finance. In each case, though, he did follow through on his words. He set up a company, Blue Ribbon, later rebranded Nike. He set up an East Coast office in Wellesley, Massachusetts, and he did find the financing for this order. He just did it. He didn't care what the cost was or how he got it or how he achieved these goals. He just went out and did it. And that's the beautiful thing about Phil Knight. He doesn't care if you don't have an office. He doesn't care if you're not a millionaire. He doesn't care if you only have $200 to your name. If you can represent him the fullest and you have a great idea and you have great work, work ethic, he's going to support you all the way through. And it doesn't really matter to him if you haven't been mildly successful. As long as you have that long-term goal and you want to go out there and just do it, he's going to support you 110% along the way. Lastly, we have find trustworthy partners on the job and in your personal life. This is very important because from early on, Knight built this company with the help of a few loyal employees, former athletes from his college or competing teams, his former coach, and a few trusted accountants and lawyers and so on. He trusted them. And vice versa, the parents of one of his first employees even gave him their last savings when his company was in need of cash. They did it because if you can't trust the company your son works for, who can you really trust? He started dating his wife Penny around the age of 30, and her impact was equally profound. She was not a girlfriend, he said, but a partner. At first, she helped out Blue Ribbon as the company's first accountant. Later, she would become the bedrock of her and Knight's family. From his memoir, it is clear he sees those early employees, business, and life partners as a crucial in his later success. This honestly led him onto the path of success. All the people he trusted, they trusted him back and were able to invest in him. It's like I always say, if you can't find someone who's not trustworthy, they're not ever going to invest in you mentally and logically. Now mentally is the part where they got to trust you personally and logically is the part where they're going to invest in you uh, with money, with actual cold hard cash, with their time, with their effort. This is very important, not only for a business to function, but for your life in total to function. So guys, that's it for today's video. Make sure to leave a huge thumbs up on it. Also, let us know in the comment section down below if you did subscribe. That way, you could be entered in this month's subscriber giveaway. Guys, this is JT here with The Business Hub signing off. And as always, see you guys later.